How can you turn the next conversation you have with your head teacher or line manager into a positive outcome almost each and every time? So what would be my strategic approach? Well, the number one tip I can give for teachers is not just about communicating, but also the methodology or the manner in which you do it. So the next time think about when you approach your head teacher or line manager, come equipped with at least two choices. This tactic isn't just about uh, the, the conversational topic itself. It's also about showcasing your initiative and enabling the leader to make informed decisions. Now I used to use this all the time with my head teachers. Uh, so why should you offer some choices? Well, if we think about our school classrooms, they're very, very busy spaces. It's easy for reflection to take a back seat. So if you approach your head teacher, when you present not just the problems, but also some solutions, you're bridging the gap between the realities of your classroom floor and those insights, as well as helping that strategic management. And when we offer choices, it illustrates your commitment to solving issues, and it also positions you as a reflective and considerate thinker. And if we're faced with any challenge in the classroom or a longer term problem, if we consider it from lots of different angles and we formulate at least two or three possible solutions before we knock the head teacher's door, it shows the head teacher that you've done the legwork, you've already invested in the outcomes and possibilities, and you respect the head teacher's time and judgment and then it turns what might be a simple conversation into a constructive collaborative decision making process and that would be my top tip for teachers so the next time you approach your head teacher consider these final reflection questions so my first one would be how will um, presenting the options impact the response to your initiatives so think carefully about the solutions you generate uh, question two, in what ways does this approach facilitate a more respectful professional dialogue with your head teacher or line manager? And question three, could this strategy enhance your reputation in your school as a problem solver? Now, I also used to think about being a problem finder, not a problem solver, but that's for another video. But if you strategically present your choices, you empower your head teacher and earn the respect paving away for that yes, it can make the difference between uh, always getting a setback and that no, it's not gonna work. So uh, I hope that helps.